Yep. Absolutely. Hey guys, Mike Healy here. Listen, I am so uh, uh, I'm so excited to have you guys join me today because uh, this is going to be awesome. This is inside our Facebook li- uh, for Facebook group, the Gel Training Facebook group. And uh, what's uh, really cool is today I have a special guest on here. Um, I got just myself on the screen right here, so I'm gonna let Bill actually. Uh, he had to stop and get some lunch. He's got a, a shake going on. So Bill, you can go ahead. I don't have you on a camera yet. Um, okay. pull you up here. You can take another swig of that thing. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and get you on here. So, Bill, I'm going to put you up here. So first off, thank you guys for taking time out of your schedules. I know we're doing this and actually in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, Bill is just coming from a big meeting he had to drive back from and, uh, you know, get this thing going. And uh, I'm really excited about this because obviously this is one of the first ones I wanted to do uh, inside our group is interview some people with some serious, serious backgrounds uh, that I know have experience uh, in the networking industry and the profession because, you know, the kind of the gel training group is primarily for every, every all things gel training, uh, a lot of which I like to focus on the business side of it and everything like that. And then I'm going to obviously invite a lot of people on here that, uh, you know, with the, uh, I'm sorry, the product and things like that. So we're going to do that. So, Bill, first off, thank you very much for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be on here. Uh, I do really appreciate that. Mike, I appreciate you, buddy, having me on here, too. uh, No problem. So, guys, first off, guys, you know, guys and girls, um, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction about how I met Bill. Uh, I started networking in 1994, I believe it was. It was, you know, 20, 22, 24 years ago. And uh, I joined a company that was called Excel Communications. It was a long distance deal. It was one of the first companies ever do that. Actually, first company ever do that in network marketing with, uh, you know, that service. And um, I started going to the meetings locally here in Columbus, Ohio. And they used to bring this top money earner in uh, from Toledo, Ohio as the guest speaker, maybe once a month or so on, or every, you know, every quarter or whatever it was. And it just happened to be that guy right there, uh, Bill Hoffman, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And I used to listen to him and stuff like that. And I had no idea. Now, here's the other cool thing about Bill is if you actually look him up or, you know, you, you talk to other people that may know Bill in all of the years that I've ever been, even when we were never in business together, I've never heard a bad word spoken about him, uh, you know, if ever, I can't really think of any time that ever happened. So it's real exciting to have you on here, Bill. And what's cool, it's kind of a neat little story, and I'll try to make it quick, is you were actually sponsored, you sponsored yourself to the number one money earner, Paul Orbison, which was an icon back in the day, because right. Paul was making, you know, like insane amounts of money. Like he was one of the first people, if I'm not mistaken, was he like the first guy to ever make over a million dollars a month in that right. Right. And, okay. And the only one I know that ever made two million a month. Right. Right. Two million a month. Think about that in a network marketing thing. And he was the coolest, laid back, uh, from Danville, Kentucky, hillbilly guy, and he knew it and he loved it. And he was, he was, it wasn't he just incredible. Well, Mike shucks. That's what he'd say. <laughs> that that was him. That was him. So we fast forward a little bit. You and I, um, you know, we kind of we didn't know each other real well. I mean, obviously. You were kind of almost to me untouchable because you were the top, you know, the expert. And then a few years later, you ended up um, getting in, getting involved after Excel uh, sold out, sold and everything like that. Um, you you found yourself in a place where you weren't really doing anything, and then you joined another company. It was kind of a it was a startup company yeah. uh, that was in the travel industry, and you ended up becoming the number one money earner in that company and literally made tens of millions of dollars in it. Um, just, you know, kind of real quick, cause I want to get to the other stuff here. The other notes I have, uh, how many people did you, cause, cause what does that equate to? Like, and I actually have some stuff at the end that I want you to talk about. That's going to go along with timing. And I'm going to go back to this story to begin with, but right. how many people did you have in that organization at one time? Well, uh, total active distributors was about 186,000 people throughout 186, the United States. 000. That's just, that's just, that's almost hard to believe. Bigger than the city of Toledo. <laughs> you had more p- people in your organization than the entire population of the city of Toledo. Yep. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead now. And here we are. We're, so we just condensed uh, in less than five minutes, we condensed 20 years of your, of your history. Okay. Uh, top number one money earner. Then, then here's the thing is then after that, you basically have been, what you've been doing pretty much for a living now is you have been a very, very highly paid, 
uh, consultant in the net network marketing industry, direct selling and other corporations and so on. OK, right. so uh, you have a lot of, uh, you know, other experiences besides just uh, networking. OK, in addition to that. And that's that's why people pay him so much money to structure things and so on. So you get a text from the Healy kid right here uh, that says, basically, have you heard about this new HGH gel? Right. And then you reply <laughs> back. And then we're going to go right now into the whole, you know, what, what the heck, what the heck when you, when I texted you this and it said HGH gel, what was your first reaction of what you, what you thought was going on here? What would you think? Well, Mike, I, you know, first of all, HGH isn't something that's brand new, meaning we've heard about it. We hear about like, you know, Sylvester Stallone's been doing it for like 20 years and he looks like he's 40 physically, even though he's 74, I think he is. Right. So, and I did look into that stuff at one time, you know, if you got a little bit of money, but the problem was, is I didn't like the risk factor of taking shots and the cost factor, you know, a couple grand a month. That's, that's, I mean, you know, I don't care how much money you make. That's a lot of money to do. So Mike, when you said the HGH and it said gel, I know because I'm at an age, I'm a little older than you, Mike. And I know that people I know that are of the other gender, um, when they go and get hormonal treatments, it's always done in a transdermal gel. That's how they do it. That's how they, they so I went, wow. And I play, I'm, I, I, when I say I'm an athlete, I play tennis four to five times a week. And all the guys I play with, they're all over 40, right? And afterwards, they're sitting around complaining about their knees, their backs, their joints, the this and so on and so on. We all think we're 20 still. And yet physically, we get beat up a little bit. So. When I saw, I just went, I don't care what this is. I'm, I don't, I, I didn't even care that it was a network marketing or direct sales or anything. I didn't care about that. I thought, I got to find out more about that. And I, I didn't, I didn't text you. I called you. And after you called me, yes, because I was obviously fairly new when I talked to yeah. you. Um, when we, when we started to actually take the time to do your own due diligence on it, did the story get better or worse for you as far oh, as you started it, figuring stuff out? It went from from excited, meaning I'm will. Well, first of all, Mike, credibility because you don't you, you and I talk all the time, but we don't talk about opportunities, meaning from a recruiting standpoint all the time. And for you to send that text, and I thought, okay. Then I then when you told me a little bit about it, then you then you sent me to a site. To, to, to do more research. And then what I think you did the best thing you did. And this is something that people that have made a little bit of money forget to do. You put me on with the third party expert because see my relationship with you is a friendship. Now it's not just, I don't think of you as the doctor of HGH gel or the, the, the know it all on how to keep our bodies, you know, at the optimum level because of, this gel, right? Well, you put me on the phone with somebody that broke it down for me, explained everything to me, really told me all the different things. And I said, I got to get it. They go, well, of course, we know this. This isn't the case now. So all you new people that have joined since like about a week ago, this wasn't the case for you guys. But we didn't get our gel right away. We were, we were in a non-shipment time because they had to catch up because of the incredible growth. But but that's a whole nother story, a whole nother Facebook Live talk on that thing. But so fortunately, uh, you knew the guy that had bought some extra bottles and he sent me one. And I, you know, I started using it even before you got yours, Mike. I kind of felt bad, but I didn't give you any. So I must not have felt too bad. I forgive you. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, all the things you read about, better sleep, uh, sounder sleep, um, energy levels. I'm already a high energy person, but this is amazing. And I'll tell you the other thing is I, I do, I, I still play with some of the young kids. There, there's a league that's from 18 to 40 and I still play with those guys, even though I'm 56. I'm telling you my recovery time, my, that's what, I mean, it, it, listen, if this wasn't sold through network marketing, I'd still buy this. I would. It, it has nothing to do with the opportunity other than when I saw the opportunity tied to it. You know, listen, 
everybody wants to make a little bit more money. And some of us want to make a lot more money. The timing of this, and I won't ruin it for the questions you're going to ask me later, but that, that made so much sense because, Mike, if I look at my actual 31 years in this industry, I wasn't any better. I wasn't any smarter. I worked hard. I worked very, very hard. But you know what it was? I caught the right companies at the right time, and I went to work. And that can take, when you get timing on your side, and you get the right product, the right service on your side, all I can tell you is it makes whatever you do look a hundred times better and actually financially a hundred times better than what I could have done. You know, if I'd have joined a travel company a decade after I did, not being the first travel company that goes online, I'm not sure you'd be telling that story about it. If I'd have joined a company, you know, in 2004 instead of 1992, I, I'm not sure that uh, I mean, right. we were in 11 states when I joined that Excel company, not 50, right? So, so, and this isn't, I walked uphill both ways or anything like that. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you timing, timing, and then the product. The product is just, it, it, it's amazing. Now let's actually, because yeah. I want to start. So the, the evidence is there. I mean, the, 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 the scientific evidence all the plenty of doctor calls that we can listen to and reference now, the experts that are out there, uh, you know, the, 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 the stuff that they've got written on the product itself. The, the, there's no really debate now that the product works. But you have you ever seen a product that could really blow a company up in a good way faster than this? Like because you you actually. Uh, you, you're, you, you're, you, you're at the level that people in corporate have talked to you personally. You know, that's, that's you, you, you've earned that right to get the calls from these guys that find out that guys like you are in the, in the company from your industry experience. Right. When you think a product like this, like, have you ever seen anything with this? Cause that's, I mean, I haven't honestly, I have not worked a networking deal myself in over five years. Like I've been right. doing what you've been doing. I've been consulting, probably not getting paid nearly the money that you are. But that's really what I've been doing. And I had no interest in doing a networking company, um, you know, because just I just kind of felt like I was burned out or didn't want anything. I didn't really see anything that was was exciting again, something that had that, right. that oomph to it. You ever seen anything that a product that you could take the market like this, that, what kind of impact and how quickly this thing has been growing? It is just it's it's all, if, if I wouldn't have seen companies that. I won't even say came close, but had some tremendous growth. I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't a part of it. And I've and I've been a part of companies that were growing by 250 percent a month. I mean that, that I mean there was times when Excel or the travel company were growing that just unbelievable put more more people in in one month than we did our first six years in business, right? But this and it's and I'm telling you. It's because of the baby boomers. It's because the people are conscious about their their health. And we all, do you know, my goal 25 years ago was I wanted to retire on a golf course. Guess what? That's never even a thought pattern of mine anymore. I don't want to go and be on something that I'm sitting around on a golf cart going around. I, it, the, the communities that are attracting the most retirees are active like there's no tomorrow. There's rock climbing. There's hiking. There's all kinds of things we whether we like it or not do not want to grow old it stinks and we want to keep ourselves and you can get a product that is proven without a sh this isn't a practice this isn't something made in the hill, hill, hill himalaya in himalaya mountains sorry about that uh, uh mountains or something that only get comes out on the third spring of the third decade you know what i'm saying this is something that's got documentation like there's no tomorrow and they've done it in a way that just makes sense and by doing it this way honestly they could have put this on a qvc and probably sold the heck out of it too but i'm so glad they went this route and allowed us to get a chance to become whether it's make a little extra money financially free or just think and go out there and make a ton of money it's a single product too. That's another thing about it. Now I'm not saying we'll never add other products. I'm saying a single product doesn't make you try to have to focus on 
seven different things or 27 different things. This is this is what it is. And people either see it or they don't. And listen, the ones that don't, I don't have time for them. I mean, I still love them, but I don't have time for them. And I've had very few of those say it, right? I've had um, unbelievable success already in just this little bit of time. And I can tell you, <clears throat> we're going to do some big things. And when I take all your expertise, like the, the, the training stuff that you put together and, and all that, I mean, honestly, I couldn't have... I, uh, it couldn't have worked out better for me. This is such an oh by the way product that I can do it anything I want, anytime. I can be at the doctor's office and pitch my doctor. I can be uh, uh, this winter when I'm skiing. I can just talk to hey, listen, I, I use this gel. You know what I'm saying? I, boom. People all want to know about it, want to know about it, want to know about it, want to know about it. And then when you look at the actual price, I mean, 140 bucks. Okay. Well, most vitamin regiments are more than that. And you're, you're just, sorry to say, getting rid of that every time you use the restroom, right? For the most part, this is just, it just makes sense. And I believe, I believe we're going to break every record ever set in network marketing. And it'll be done just in the United States. I'm not saying we'll never grow places outside the U.S. I'm saying we'll break every record that's ever been held in network marketing and there's some big records out there. And there's some big records. And and along those lines, there's a ton of money that's made for people that help break those records. Correct? Absolutely. <laughs> you don't have to be uh, uh, the number one guy. You can just, you know, in this type of business, you could be the 7,000th guy or gal. And guess what? It, and Mike, I got to tell on a little bit, right? Because you know me, I, I, I never, I never rain on somebody else's parade. But I've never been a binary guy, and I'm not going to go into all the, bi but I always fought against them. You know, I always went against it because the companies I was working weren't binary. So, you know, it's either, you know, go, oh yeah, that's a good comp, that's a good comp plan or not. You know, so I could find all the flaws. Well, truth is, those were fictionary flaws. I mean, they were good because I was. I was cranking it where I was at, right? And, and and not that all comp plans are bad, the other ones. I'm just saying a binary is very simple for the for that brand new person just looking to get in the business to be able to say you just got to put one on your left, one on your right, right? And now you got to do more than that. You do. You you definitely do. This isn't a get rich quick thing. But the bottom line is, everybody you ever place in the business after that either goes on your left or your right. I'm not building. I went 172 wide in the travel business. How do you manage 172 people? Probably why only six of them went out there and killed it. I failed the other 160, whatever, eight or 64, right? I probably did. I, pro I probably did. The difference is it's a team effort here. So it's just a, it's, it just makes more sense. Go ahead. Now, I want to, uh, cause I want to kind of, so you and I are, we're both sold on this. We know what we're doing. We're going to go out and attack it. Uh, thank God we got the experience that we have now that we able to take advantage of this. Um, I want you to tell uh, to me, it was kind of fascinating. Um, you told me this when we saw each other, that'd be six years ago. We were at a, we were at a, at a company event. You came down and spoke and I asked you about the gross. I just find this story fascinating. So I'm going to ask it and you guys can listen to it and like it or not. But you, you explain what you saw, because a lot of times I don't think people understand how compounding interest, because Paul Orbison used to say one thing that was so amazing. He used, he used to say, it's not what you do, it's what you start. Right. And, and a lot of people don't, it's kind of hard to grasp because most people are coming from, you know, the paradigm of working a nine to five and only getting paid on these things that they do, but they don't, it's hard to comprehend unless you've been around the industry and seen it happen or have experienced it. Give us like the go back in history. You're in the travel deal, and what kind of numbers did you see, and how did they start to multiply out? Because a lot of pe people they lose they lose heart in the first six months, which is literally like any building, any big structure out there. Laying the foundation. You're laying the foundation. <clears throat> you have to do all the hard work and put that groundwork down, and it becomes stable there. Right. You don't realize what then can explode on top of it. So tell me, tell us that story. So 
at that time when I joined that company, I no, I didn't have the success in Excel that I had here, but I, I made great income in Excel. I made more than my dad ever made after 36 years of DuPont. So I, I had some great success there, right? Um, so when I came into that travel company, I wasn't a rookie. I knew what I had to do. Yet it took me a year before I had 126 people left. At the end, when I say I wasn't going for a goal of 126, at the end of one year, I looked at my total downline and I had 126 people in the business. After so a year. This, after a year. And I mean, I was working. And by the way, I probably over that the next, if I'm not over that today, I'm over that by the end of this week, right? So, I, I mean, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty phenomenal, right? So, and that's when most people quit. They quit before it gets good, before they get a chance to have success. So, I put my head down and I said, okay, I'm going to go to work. And I went to work even harder. Well, at the end of my second year, going into my third year, I was having 126 people join every month every month. So now I kind of uh, 12 times it, if you look at it from that standpoint. If all I would have done is stay at the same and did 126 every month, I would have 12 times my effort from my first year. Well, I don't care what business you're growing. If you can do that, uh, Warren Buffett will be looking at you, right? Seriously, that's just how it is, right? So but it didn't stop there because now at the end of my third year, going into my fourth year, I was having 126 people join every week, every week. Going into my, uh, after the end of my fourth year, going into my fifth year, I would do a meeting at some hotel because, and by the way, you don't have to do hotel meetings with this stuff. One, technology makes it you don't have to. Two, it's a product that you just put on Facebook Live. You just do a webinar. You just call somebody up and say, go to a website. It's not that rigorous. Right. You, you got to work, but it's not the... the. I put 90,000 miles on my car for four years in Excel. Four years, 90,000 miles, right? So, but back to, back to the thing. I would do the meeting. I started at seven o'clock and I'm, I'm quick about things. I don't spend two hours. I'm not trying to belabor, trying to talk you into anything. I'd be done in about 35 minutes. I'd be done with my presentation. And I'd say, everybody that's interested in the travel business, stick around. We'll get you all going here. Everybody's not nice seeing you. Goodbye. Go. Right. I would click that button and I would show the number. Oh, by the way, I'd show the number of how many people were in my business. At the time I started, and 45 minutes later, I would click the button, and not one time in my fifth year did I have less than 126 people join in that 45-minute period. And by the way, then I'd raise hands. I'd say, hey, who joined already? And maybe one or two were filling out their paperwork, right? You know, or, or they're going online and filling it out. Nobody in the room. You got 300 people there, and nobody else joined. I'm going, well, I think this has to do with the leverage side and the compounding effects. So there's probably 75 meetings just like this going on and people are signing up all over the United States and Canada at the time. So, and, and, and I'll tell you my best, my best day, which is pretty darn awesome. I had 2,600 people join in one day in one and, day. I didn't, and I didn't sponsor one of them. And it's not what you did. It's what you started years earlier. Yeah, because my sponsor actually um, didn't make as much as I did because, you know, it's not a pyramid. You don't just get paid just because no, you've done no, it. You know, yeah, you, you, you don't. But he did override me pretty well, right? Yeah. And I think the last three years he spent the entire time on his boat or in his second home someplace. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, <laughs> it was what he started. That starting yep. might have been just a conversation with me, but that, that that's all it mattered. He made a 50% check match on me. <clears throat> Larry, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch gears yeah. just a little bit. We're not going to take too much time longer here. Right. Uh, I'm, you just you talked to me. You sent me some information. I want to join the business. Um, what, would, what would be maybe a couple things that you would say to get me started and you know, kind of maybe encourage me to that this thing is going to be you know, something I, gotta, I want to take serious? Or how would you put on to me 
how significant or how serious I really need to take this now when you're talking to her. Right, Mike, I would say this, and there's an urgency factor here. Timing is everything. This opportunity will be here 10 years from now. But yep. you being able to take advantage of it like you're at right now this time, you need to make a list of every, and when I say a list, you don't have to write them all down. They're in your cell phone. You just need to send a text to everybody on your list. All they can say is, no, I'm not interested. That, okay. Yeah. That's Next. okay. Feeling better and making money isn't a big deal. I'm with you. I got it. Now, now, that's what you think so you don't feel like you're the crazy guy, right? But, right. you know, but you just send that text out to them and wait for the response from them. I've done it. Now, listen, no one can tell me that network marketing doesn't work and no one can tell me this product isn't real yet i sent a text out at uh, i did a facebook one the, the the messenger thing and i did it at i was up it was like one o'clock in the morning i couldn't get to sleep and i sent out like 50 of them 11 responded 11 did the other wow. ones didn't no the, the other ones did well you know what now, I know I can make a phone call to them because not everybody checks their messages from their uh, instant messaging. stuff. You know, but I just want to do a little test. But the point I'm making is let's just assume the other 39 all looked at it. They told me no, too. It's okay. I don't, I, and I don't have time to go back and try to convince these guys right now because I'm looking for the people. Here's one thing that I've always yeah. taught, Mike. The reason I have a smile, whether it was when I was busting my butt to get 126 people in a year or 126 people in 45 minutes were coming in, because I was looking for people that were looking for me. Who would like to feel more energy, maybe even more uh, 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 vitality, more everything, get better sleep, maybe lose some weight? I've lost eight pounds. I don't really need to lose weight, but I can't all off my stomach. I'm feeling pretty good. I, I noticed on my belt today that I went in a buckle on it because that came from my tummy. It didn't lose it. I didn't lose it in my face. I didn't lose it in my arms. Lost it in my tummy. Nice. And I'm only a, I'm only a 34 waist to begin with, right? So it's not like I was 38 and went, you know what I'm saying? I, nothing wrong with people that are 38s either. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying for me, that has always been something I'd like to do is keep my, my, my stomach a little uh, thinner. So it just happened. I love it. Haven't changed my eating habits nothing. So I impress upon people that you got to send those that text out to somebody. Then you just got to follow up with what they request from you. And then if they have questions, I don't care how much you got on the internet and figured this stuff out. Get them on the phone with your upline. Call me 419-466-6399. Call Mike there's there's a dozen more people above us, which is kind of cool. And I've got all their phone numbers. I mean, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've called them all just to say hi to them, right? Because you never know. I might need a single mom who struggled after she went through some personal issues. And now she's knocking down, you know, 30 grand a month or something like that. You know, I mean, it, it, you don't know. It's just the bottom line is urgency. Pretend the opportunity is going to go away for you to be able to recruit any more people tomorrow. You'll start talking to people today. That's, that's, that's a really good thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Bill, um, one more question, because it's, it's, this one's a spur of the moment one. Yeah. What do you think the number one thing you would attribute to your success is? The number one thing was I took action. That's everything else. A little bit of action. Know, Oh, no, a lot of it action, a lot of action, a lot of action. Lot of action. As much action as you can throw at. And you know what? For me, it was turning off the TV. But, I mean, back when I, from, from really having success, it was, even though I love golf, I gave up golf. Because it was six hours out of my day to go, right? I mean, you know, so, and I'll still golf once in a while with some things. But I'm not, I'm not golfing every day like I was. I wanted to get to the point where... I, I, you can take your time, collapse it, and just get this thing done. Those 50 uh, instant messages took me because I just cut and paste, you know, or, or paste, you know, and sent, right? You know, one thing I had to do is change their name at the top, right? 
Yep. I could have probably just said, hey, you. But I didn't. I wanted to make it a little more personal. It probably took me less than 15 minutes. I know it did less than 15 minutes. So, and out of those 11 that contacted me, four of them have joined. One bought as a customer. So, I mean, you know, I, that's great odds. I'll take that all day long. Yep. But the massive action is what does it. I've seen some very unskilled, very, not very good at presentations, not very good at anything on, on a personal level of recruiting and everything, but they took massive action. And because of that, they found people that were looking for them or looking for that opportunity, which included them. That's the key. Awesome. Bill, thank you very much. I know we probably let your smoothie get melted. <laughs> oh, that's all right, buddy. I appreciate right. it. Listen, I love it. Thanks for the, everybody that came on the call at three o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time. Appreciate you, Michael. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to let you jump off of here so you can uh, you can take off. Thank you very much, Bill. You're fantastic. All right, buddy. Thank uh, thanks, you. Buddy. All, right. all right. God bless you. Last couple Bye-bye. things, guys. Uh, here's what you need to know that uh, I'm going to get this uh, downloaded and I'll put it on YouTube. And uh, obviously you can go in. It's going to stay here in the Facebook group. You can watch it over and over. And as you add more people you might uh, to the Facebook group, uh, gel training, you may want to uh, notify them, let them know. You know, uh, thank you guys for putting it um, down here. I'll pop some People are saying thank you on here. Thank you. Great call. Thank you. Great call. Thank this so much. Boom. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to jump off of here. Uh, really appreciate you guys taking time out of there. Make sure you get your people to watch this because how often you get to get, uh, you know, some insider information directly from somebody who's made tens of millions of dollars in this industry. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's a big time uh, win for you. So anyhow, thanks again for being on here. We'll see you on the other videos and I'll get this up uh, on YouTube uh, as soon as possible. Thanks.